Okay. Theoretically, we we're back. Let's... Okay. If the game's done crashing now. Rutzgarn, you were saying something about Joker. Uh. Suicide Squad? Yes. I, I was be saying. Before you start that, about we should Joker. point out that the game crashed multiple times oh, there that crashing. you didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> We were kind of worried okay. we were stuck. Uh, so... <laughs> Which was why I was starting my story very slowly, because I was going to see if it was going to bust again. But, anyway. <laughs> uh, short version is... Uh, Joker's one of many characters in fiction where, like, their shtick is that they're really, really cool, but it's important to the fact that they're cool that they are not trying to be. They're just acting like their self, and their self just happens to be the most badass, awesome thing ever. Uh, oh, man. and man has some evil eyes. a lot of people got, got upset at like the the, seeing a Joker photo from the Suicide Squad promos where he's covered in tattoos that like make him look like he's trying to be cool because they're like, this is that like does... somebody trying to be cool and doing so it really true. badly. That does strike and... me as I don't know enough about the Joker, but hearing Joker covered in tattoos sounds weird well, to me. I'll let Rescar finish and then I'll weigh in. Yeah. But, like, yeah, like, he had a tattoo on his forehead that said damaged. He had, like, ha 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 on his shoulder. What it spoke to me of was a Joker who was, like, uh, like, got his start almost as a teenager. And, like, sort of had this, so like, started this thing as a teenager. Oh, God. And, like, the, was sort of, like, not really sure how to be cool. But he, like, thought this stuff was badass. The tiles and, like, that fell out of the wall. Maybe are a Joker who's a little up bit less towards the... effortlessly badass. And a little bit more like he's trying. And like maybe he doesn't always 100% succeed. Because like, I, I, there's been enough really uh, like badass jokers in fiction. I would have been interested in seeing a new take on it. Anyway. Okay, well, let's, we'll talk about this later. Let's get into this. So, Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon just fucking died. Batman tried to contact Oracle to tell her that her dad's dead. And he got a, sorry, this call's been disconnected. And then Arkham started falling apart. So we go, something's kind of fucked up right now. What could it be? We're in a morgue. Couldn't possibly yep. be that Batman is going insane. This and part really it, it actually does not take the long to figure me. out that this is Scarecrow gas. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Yeah. It doesn't matter that it's Scarecrow gas. Like, it's, even though you can tell that's what's going on, it's still really Father. fucking scary. Yeah, unfortunately, it's ruined by the immediately following segment here. Oh no, <laughs> platforming! <laughs> the real yeah, scary part. Yeah, the worst. I totally understand why they thought that was a good idea. It didn't work for me. I'm curious uh, if a lot of people did like it. I think if you're more into a lot of console platformers, it probably felt a little more intuitive to you. But as somebody who is never into platformers very much... Um, it Same. really felt See, out of I, place to me. I <laughs> was really big into console platformers and shit, and I thought this segment was fucking terrible. So, I love the concept. I love the I love the Same. idea that the, bat, the Batman's trying to like overcome his inner demons or whatever. And Batman has a lot of bats in his belfry. I mean, he's got stuff he needs to work out. He could probably he has a some lot out. of bats in his belfry. <laughs> that was intentional. Have intentional. you been sitting on that one for a while? No, actually, no. That just that just yeah. I, that just came out now, and I will make no apology for it. But so I could totally believe that Batman has a lot of issues, and that you know Scarecrow gas could like really screw him up, and that you could express that in an interesting way. It's just this particular gameplay felt weird to me, and I didn't know the rules, and I died a lot because I didn't understand what the game was expecting of me. Yeah. And oh. retrying these sections well. really kills the kills yeah. the atmosphere that it like it builds this wholly screwed up atmosphere, and you're like, whoa, I'm what's scared. going on? And then you die three times, and you're like, you know what? I'm I'm over this yep. now. It is no longer scary. Oh. And if you want to talk about replaying this segment. This is not the last time we have to do a Scarecrow platforming exactly oh. like this. It right. gets worse. Yeah. This is the reason why I don't go back to and play this game. Because I'm like, oh, I really want to play Arkham Asylum. Yeah. And then, and then remember I remember this, that... and I'm like, no, never mind. 
I do like that he comes in and investigates. So if he sees you, you die though. instantly. Yeah. Game over. And you have to start over again. Fortunately, I did this like two days ago, so... Good job, Josh. I'm gonna shine the, the bat, the bat yeah, signal try. at Scarecrow and use his laser beam powers to kill the big floating Scarecrow. Batman has like the most horrible imagination ever. Like the most boring imagination <laughs> possible. What's going on? <laughs> his his nightmare okay. world I'm is okay. just... What happened? I lost contact. Giant floating Scarecrows and bat signals, dad? yep. I'm fine. Had a little run-in with Scarecrow. Slowed me down. I'll get back to you in a bit. Also, I hope you didn't uh, hear me broadcast that your dad was dead, because that would be really awkward. <laughs> Wouldn't it be <laughs> yeah, great uh, to yeah. get phone calls from somebody who's, like, Scarecrow gassed? Tripping Matt, out. My lamp, it's <laughs> a fucking ghost. Gas must have affected Call me back later, phone. Joe. Please. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the scarecrow. What do you mean? This line's disconnected. I need to poof, but I'm scared of what happened last time I tried. <laughs> Go to bed, Mike. <laughs> There's a squid in the toilet. It's a squid. It's a kid. It's a squid. It's a kid. <laughs> Mike, this way? I went. I can't go back down to the basement. I went down there and I dreamed there was a oh. horrible platforming sequence, and I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, uh, I couldn't even see the thing that said like, "Hey, you need to block there." So it was, it yep. was sadness. Yeah, the the camera is better. In I mean, this this game has a problematic camera anyway. Kind of what it wants to do is already really difficult where you've got enemies on all sides and the camera needs to make you aware of all of them. Uh, but it's it's really rough here and it's a little bit better in City. Uh, on New Game Plus, you don't get those blue lines over their head. You just have to intuit from body language who's going to attack you. And that's fun. I do think it would have been kind of interesting, like, if your message that Gordon was dead had gone through, though. Uh, kind of and Oracle though. would be like, what the hell, Batman? And he's like, yeah, I was... Sorry, I was just on drugs. <laughs> I mean, I, I do, you know, I was joking earlier, and I may yet joke again, because that's how the show works, but I actually kind of would be interested to know how obvious it is somebody's Joker gassed if you talk to them. Like, oh my god, Oracle, come, your father's yeah. dead. Oh my god. Well, yeah, Joker... my parents, they're, yeah, they're I dead mean, too. Scarecrow gas. Okay, okay, but what about my hamster? <laughs> your hamster? It's, oh my god, it's dead. Get over there and keep looking. Oh, okay, Batman, just sit down, take a deep breath for a few minutes. Get, get back to me when you stop fucking around. The commissioner's just dying for one of you. So this is your first, this is the first real uh, stealth section yeah. where if you get outed, Harley has Gordon hostage. So if you get spotted, she immediately uh, kills him and it's a game over. Um, so you have to do this without getting spotted at all. So the game's kind of been trying to train you for this up until now. I actually really appreciate the way, the, how carefully this game trains you for nearly everything. Except for those platforming Agreed. sections. Um, it it also trains you really well with the objects that you get, the way that you progress and you get new objects, and it teaches you how to use them. And I think this is the best way that you could have the tutorial inside of the game without having bullshit tutorials in the beginning of a game, like most modern games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really appreciated that. That it's one tool at a time. Okay, you've learned to use the last one now, Batman. Like. Goes to the Batmobile and gets a new tool. Um, I really appreciated that. No, no, Josh, don't, don't blow that. She'll kill Gordon. <laughs> no, it's okay. All the rubble went away, and I dropped on her face. It's cool. Okay. I'm not going to claim that made sense, but it worked. You can't argue with results. I don't know what it is. What a blab about! Spoiling the surprise! Be quiet. Oh, am I getting to you? Am I? Good. <laughs> You're going to love this next bit. 
Let's just leave Harley Quinn here. Not like, you know, handcuff her, yeah. bat cuff her, take her out, put her in the trunk <laughs> or anything. She, he punched... He punched her once. Rutz that should be that enough. Means she's, Never mind that. Yeah. Behind me now. You know, yeah, we, we joke about how many henchmen the Joker seems to have. For all we know, he's got like ten. Yeah, then you just keep... Although... <laughs> all right, everyone, get up and start marching in the next part. They're just, like, shaking themselves, like, oh, boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a long fucking night. <laughs> beat up seven times by Batman. Okay, we complained about the Scarecrow thing, but this is where I really got frustrated. I I do not think this, this boss fight works mechanically. I think it needed a little bit of iteration. It's too bad because Bane in these games is like such a great version of Bane. Like the movie didn't do him justice, I don't think. The coolest version of Bane is this really, really smart, really, really strong luchador guy. And that's who he is in these games. And it's super cool. And it sucks that his, his battles aren't super cool either. Yeah. So. They suffer from a bat- <laughs> What was that, Batman? You just gonna tap him on the chin like that? What did you think? <laughs> How did you think that was gonna turn out, Bruce? <laughs> what were you even thinking? Okay, he here's my problem with this fight. Is it trained you earlier, okay, when a big guy charges you, you throw a batarang at his head, and then you jump out of the way. And if you do that or to Bane- Or get run over. Or get run over if you're Josh. Um, he gets stunned, but if you run up to him now, he will immediately punch you, and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to do that. And no, it's every other one for some reason. So the uh. game trains you immediately in what you're not supposed to do. You run up, you you hit him when he's stunned, and he punches you, and you're like, oh, that's the wrong thing to do. And so you'll spend all this time dodging, looking for an opening, but no, it's every other time. Every second time means he's vulnerable to one of your attacks. Who would actually jump down in here with Bane and Batman squaring off? I know. <laughs> yeah, this this These is fights... their first rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this that's, fight is that's so cool. repetitive. It's just the same yeah. shit over and over. Sometimes it speeds up a bit, but it's just. And if you think this is the last time that a battle is going to be like this, you're in for a treat. Because you're fucking wrong. They all Every fucking, all like yeah, that. they're all exactly like oh, that. That was. Luckily, like, yeah, you... I mean, in Arkham City, they really learned their lesson, I think. Uh, the, yeah. the Mr. Freeze battle was probably one of the best boss battles in video game history, I think. Because it was just fucking smart. But, yeah. you know, this not to. No, that was I would I mean, need to you know, dodge there. Like, okay, no. I want you to stop and think about this because you've never played this game. Every boss battle is like this. Every boss Every battle, single. all of them, including the last one. And think about who the last boss battle is going to be against, and think about how that could possibly make sense. Yeah. So I guess yeah, it's this... a good time to say now that I haven't actually beat this game, and the reason why I didn't see it to completion was because I figured it out. I figured out who the that last boss is, and I figured out how that battle was gonna fucking go. And I was like, I can't yeah. do this. I can't deal with it. Well, I yeah, guess you're it, going it is... <clears throat> it's totally wrong. I, we'll get to it later in the season. I don't wanna... I don't wanna talk about it now. But you can tell this game really didn't know what to do with this boss fight. Like, uh, somebody said in the comments last week, oh, they came that, up with a great group- That was me stuck against the wall. That's great. Thanks. They, they came up with a great group ball, brawling system, and it they did not have a great boss system. And so, like, you can even tell, like, you're doing a boss fight yeah. and it throws oh, mooks on you, because fighting See, mooks is the, the thing fun again. thing to do. That's great. Yeah. But yeah, like I it's said, It's almost they as really if, in the Dark Souls sequel, they made a game about fighting tons of mooks instead of fighting big bosses and singular enemies. Oh wait, uh, that's what they fucking did. Why am I in slow motion? We're not talking about Dark Souls. We'll never talk about Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to my happy place, which is a kid <laughs> dancing and skipping and a with squid. a baguette over his head. Around a pole. No, it's very specific. I'm just <laughs> pretending he's talking about the new Star Wars movie. 
And there's, you know, <laughs> there's a Sith in there named Darth Solus. I will crush you. <laughs> They're fucking probably the will be, that's a sad thing. Yeah. Darth Karth. Darth Down you go <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that looks so painful when you when you hyperextend somebody's leg. Oh, this is just so brutal. <laughs> Batman? I, I, I don't, Batman's not a nice guy. <laughs> no, I'm starting to see the, the supervillain's point of view here. He's, he's kind of a jack. Yeah. Kind of a jerk. No, I, I mean, I think that Spider-Man's actually meaner than Batman. Yeah. I think Spider-Man no, is. is way worse than Batman is. Batman, really? I think, I mean, Sp oh yeah, big time, big fucking time. Spider-Man just webs you up though. No, Spider-Man humiliates you. Spider-Man's mission in life is to take on people who remind him of the bullies that no. bullied him oh. in high school. Okay, I just jumped them through Bane, that worked. <laughs> right. Break them, humiliate them, and give them no fucking reason to ever reform. Batman, on the other hand, yeah, he's a fucking jackass and he'll beat the shit out of you. But he, on the best iterations of Batman are ones that he really truly wants to help the people that he's fighting. And he really wants them to get better. And he thinks that they can get better. And he might be fucking wrong, but that's what he believes. <laughs> Well, well, you don't have to kill all these moves. Makes sense. By kill, I mean, of course, bat bone breaks. Oh, yes, you do. Huh. No, wait, the, the room is collapsing. My I controller is vibrating all the mooks to very die. vigorously for emphasis. Just Bye, mooks. Le uh, <laughs> Bye, mooks. Remember, Batman <laughs> doesn't later, kill people. Fuckers. And I'm not saying that Batman is, like, the smartest way to go about crime solving, you know? Like, obviously, if yeah, he no, would have no, just yeah, been yeah. Bruce Wayne. Okay. But I think that oh, I just... Oh! Hey! Wh what's up, Gordon? I forgot you could teleport out of dangerous situations. <laughs> I forgot that was your superpower to just teleport in when I need you in a cutscene to talk about stuff. Hey, he used to be an army. He got awards. Isn't he the new Batman in one of the books? I just got, I just got back from Army. No, Bane. This time I break you. Oh man, I laughed oh, so boy. hard at that fucking line. I laughed I for days. <laughs> I didn't know. This is so funny. It's not even. A, it's like Batman's first line, and it's not even a good one. Oh, it's so bad. I just, just giggle. It's it's time. basically you, the equivalent asshole. of no uh. <laughs> no uh. Oh great! Did we get him to take the, a he's boat? He's just like giving him the two fingers and been like. We're ready to go now, sir. <laughs> Bane called Doctor Young Bruja. Should have been like, I got your nose. Um, well, so... I get why they did it because Batman or yeah. Bane fucking breaks Batman's back. But you know, anyway. Right. Yeah. Spoilers. Potentially it's all, speaking, it's, it's accurate. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't get a anything you find. We didn't get a new rip in our outfit, and I'm kind of disappointed by that. I think we earned one. I built it years ago. <laughs> right across the seat of your bat pants. The, the new rip is just like Batman wearing a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> the new rip is it's in your butt, and you're just your butt is hanging out the whole time, yeah. and it's like, this is why I wear a cape. Like, first like. it's like long underwear, and you're like, I'm glad I'm wearing this bulletproof long underwear. And then someone like tears it apart with like a lead pipe or something, and you're like, God damn it. Can only be trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and now your bad ass is hanging out. I'll contact you yep. once I'm in the back. Like, you, you, just, you cannot survive. <laughs> Like, you're just walking hey, around with your cape, like, held very Addy. tightly. <laughs> bad ass. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, so it turns out... Long until Josh remembers the snipers. No, we're not there yet. Oh, no okay. snipers yet. All right. It okay. turns out that Batman has a backup bat cave in Arkham, because... Yeah. That's just what he do. I... I'm... I don't have a problem with it. It kind of makes sense. If you were, I mean, a lot of bad shit happens at Arkham all the time. And it's on an island. So if you gotta 
be there, you might as well have your fucking cave. I don't know. But the I, thing is, you can that tell though. You, you can tell the game in... designers. Yeah. Yeah. But you can tell the game designers put it there because they felt like, well, it's a Batman game. We need a Bat Cave, and so we yes. need to we need to just come up with any like that's the reason it's there. Yes, I know. Yeah. It's like, you don't want an orderly just stumbling in there and going, Oh my god, the Joker is Batman! The place where we just beat up a bunch of guys, um, that is one of my favorite areas in the game, because it gradually changes oh, yeah. as you play. It gets more and more jokery, and you can it's kind of fun, because you're like, Oh, what is he doing in there? Yeah. You can go in there and it switches to first person mode and the Joker will monologue at you each time you visit. And it's this ongoing project and you're like, what is he doing? And you keep beating up the guys and every time there's more guys and you beat them up again. And it's kind of like this, a running gag. And I really appreciate yeah. it. Uh, eat bats, bad men's. Can I, can I just go back to what Redscar was saying about... Uh, gangster Joker, just real fast. Oh yeah, you yeah. Were way back in the beginning of this fucking oh, yeah, episode. Gangster. Tattoo. <laughs> Tattoo, Joker. All right. So, Russ was saying that the cool thing about yes. Joker is that he, is that he doesn't try very hard. But the joke of Joker is that he pretends he doesn't try very hard. There is no one in the fucking business that works as hard as fucking right. Joker. He works. So I would say he works harder than Riddler, because Riddler is a fucking lazy ass who has other people place his fucking traps, <laughs> and he loves <laughs> cheating. And so, it's Joker works so fucking hard, and he tries so hard to appear a certain way, and he's so vain, and so narcissistic, and so egotistical. So if it's a modern gangster guy, and the thing is that when he first debuted it was the fucking like 30s and 40s, right? So he has a 30s and 40s gangster outfit on, which is a purple zoot suit. Let me tell you, dudes who wore purple zoot suits in the fucking 40s were people trying too hard. So that's all I gotta say. <laughs> if, if it's a new Joker, he, and he's wearing that, tattoos and he has a, really a grill, He's work he's trying too fucking hard because that's what Joker is. He tries hard and then makes people believe that he isn't at all. But it's a lie. It's a straight up fucking lie. Ah, oh, so that's all I gotta say. We still need to write I, I still right. need to like get that comic done that's just like from the perspective of Joker and his henchmen yes. over like ten days of preparation for one comic. Well, that was one of the easy ones. Good for you, dummy. Oh, I like as you start getting more and more trophies, Riller just like cuts in once in a while to say hi. And like one of them is like, maybe I'll let you find my key.